Uh, is there enough information about the public retirement system? Absolutely not. The pension system is a quite complex system for people to understand and the information have been typically uh, not enough. For example, people should receive information about the accumulation they have contributed into the system and about the pension, the likely pension they will receive. In many countries, this is not done or is done at an insufficient level. Mm -hmm. uh, and how can we spread or improve the financial literacy among the society? I think this is a very, very important goal. Um, of course, it is not a goal for the short run. It is a, a structural reform, I would say. So we need to start from children, which is very important for our future, but also to start and to try to give some financial literacy to groups at risk, in particular, for example, women that are exposed to many risks and in many, many occasions Uh, know very little on or have uh, erroneous belief about what they can do in financial markets and with financial instruments. For example, like pension funds or investment funds or how to share Uh, the different components of their portfolio, so how to diversify risks. And uh, it's not uh, that we ask people to become experts, it's not this, but it's for people to have uh, the minimum instruments to just walk in financial markets, just to walk around. Uh -huh. And do you think that we need to promote saving? Uh, as a warranty for, uh, for the retirement? Well, in these particular circumstances, I come from a country which is still in recession, so encourage savings in a moment where people would need to spend, to have income and to spend the income so that to encourage demand and encourage the economy uh, to move on, It seems, uh, it seems uh, just uh, the thing not to do. But of course, saving is very important. So in uh, the sequence, I would say, I would uh, encourage is first help the economy to move out of the present recession and then encourage people when they have an income to save for their retirement. As a former Italian Minister of Labor, uh, what decision do we need to take and develop uh, to reduce the current unemployment uh, rates? Well, this is, uh, of course, uh, or, well, it's problem number one in many countries, and I would say in Italy, in Spain. Um, I think we need uh, targeted actions. For example, uh, the young, the young are more exposed at the risk of unemployment and the longer they stay out of the labor market, the more is the danger for their future participation. Um, for example, Europe is now promoted the youth guarantee and I think this is a very important occasion to demonstrate that we are able and capable to act for reducing the risk of the young to be unemployed for months and months and possibly for years. So, for example, taking the youth guarantee very seriously is one aspect. Another aspect is to work on the possibility of work for the elderly and stop this idea that a person who is just over 50 is ready for retirement. We need to work on the employability of people and to stress this employability. And again, this is an action that we have to work on every day. And do you think that we can say goodbye to the crisis with this unemployment level? 
I think we need to discuss this issue at the European level. It's not for each single country to just decide on measures that can help the country to exit the recession. It's a question of European policies. It's not easy, particularly when there is the risk, still the risk of financial uh, instability, but uh, uh, given that uh, the public, given that households have already made in many European countries, particularly in southern European countries, a lot of sacrifices, now it's time to rethink European policies. And perhaps uh, with the new government, in the new majority of uh, the same government uh, in Germany, um, this time uh, we will see something. I don't expect, uh, you know, a large grow uh, starting in Europe soon. But I think that just inverting uh, the path uh, from decline to growth will be very important for countries like Italy, Spain, and Greece, and so on. Uh -huh. Last question. Uh, do you consider that the positive discrimination is a good tool or a good way uh, to increase the presence of the woman in the laboral market? In general, economists are tied to the logic of merit. So merit should be the only criteria to select people. But in many societies, there is a kind of obstination in discriminating women. So if uh, there is not enough acknowledge of uh, the problem of participation of women in our economic and democratic life, then um, instruments like quota are just welcome. Thank you.